I'm here again, um, just over two years after the crash, uh, because many have been waiting for the NTSB final conclusions to be published. That final report has now been published and finds exactly what the other reports that I've documented previously detailed. Um, you can, of course, download the report, read it for yourself. In simple terms, the work done by Viking was directly the cause of the crash on the flight controls, along with the lack of inspection uh, to identify the problems, rectify them, document them, etc. All as is necessary and required by a responsible AMP. Um, so the NTS free report calls out the jamming of the controls as being the cause of the crash. Uh, that condition was in fact repeated um, on the investigation by the uh, the investigator, and photographs are included in the uh, the package that can be downloaded. Any of you can download this document and read it for yourselves, of course. The purpose of this video is simply to call out its existence and certain details that are within it. The analysis section uh, describes the uh, nature of the flight and identifies the cause of the problem, which was the jamming of the elevator and the excessive play in the flight control cables. And it also calls out that the mechanic, which was Jan, a Viking, uh, completed a condition inspection, which included the flight control cables and structure the day before the accident. And it is likely that the inspection was inadequate because it failed to identify and correct the flight control anomalies that were ultimately the result of the accident. As documented previously, that inspection and certification the aircraft was safe to fly was paid for by me and was a vital component in the airworthiness of an aircraft. And I relied on and expected to rely on his experience to identify uh, that the aircraft was safe. Under probable cause and findings, the mechanics inadequate inspection of the flight control systems, which resulted in the loss of aircraft control, was the identified cause of the accident. Further in the details, a number of other things were identified. Uh, it was identified that the Flight control cables were in fact a problem for some time and that a bungee cord had been fitted in order to stop the cables from flapping against the empennage um, and that in fact it took several inches of yoke movement before the surfaces responded. Now as a pilot you don't feel the looseness if a bungee has been fitted because there is immediate feedback to the yoke. Uh, the bungee, of course, was too weak for that movement of the yoke to be transferred uh, through to uh, the flight services. So an extremely dangerous um, condition. During the inspection, the examiner uh, attempted to repeat the reported problem in flight and managed to repeat it three times. Cables have been contacting services, damage to the empennage, um, and uh, the last section, of course, is related to the fact that Jan signed the logbook and certified the aircraft was found to be in a condition for safe operation. In summary, um, the aircraft was purchased by me and Jan was engaged to do 
uh, substantial work on, to, on the aircraft and to act as the agent for the sale. Um, when I first inspected the aircraft, uh, the wings were not on. The disabled flight controls that the previous owner had installed were still uh, in the aircraft. Um, I looked at the aircraft, fell in love, waited eagerly for that work to be done. I had no expectation or reason to believe that the work that would be done would be done so poorly and that um, specific and dangerous information would be withheld and uh, hidden uh, from my attention uh, during the process. Um, the All of the flight controls in the left seat uh, were modified back to standard uh, right seat were not, even though that was a contractual requirement to do so. Um, and the aircraft was supposed to have been thoroughly inspected and certified safe for flight. And that part of it was done, according to the documentation signed by Ian uh, the day before the accident. The issues are multiple. Um, one is quality of work. Second is the indifference shown to the danger of having bad uh, flight controls uh, on an aircraft. Um, to do bad work and to fail to inspect and to fail to rectify and to fail to document and to hide all of those necessary facts from a buyer is, uh, is appalling. And I hope you all uh, take care with doing further business uh, with Viking. Um, FAA, um, the insurance company and myself are now in receipt of the final report. Uh, it's documented exactly what was reported at the time of the crash and has been in subsequent videos. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure why certain organizations wait so long for this one report, but it is now done and all involved are considering prosecution um, to stop this kind of danger uh, existing within the marketplace. So hopefully you get a chance to review the prior videos that describe the problems in flight and other issues uh, and download the NTSB report in order to take a look at its, its final uh, conclusion. There has only ever been one aspect of this that has been uncertain to me and uh, has played on my mind and that is the loud booming noise that was heard uh, during flight uh, immediately preceding the, uh, the control issues. Uh, I could not understand how it was related. Others, including Yam, has referred to it as the normal oil canning of uh, a Zenith 750. But I have never believed that that could be true since it was dramatic and others would have commented on such a thing. The NTSB reporters had allowed me to clarify that point and is of course the excess um, in the cable tension and the cables slapping the side of the plane of the empennage. When you imagine there's 10 feet of aluminum or thereabouts being slapped by a steel cable because insufficient uh, tension has been applied uh, as appropriate for, uh, for flight control, cables, pulleys and services, etc. Um, that, of course, is reprehensible, um, more so perhaps than other topics because it is one of the most critical aspects of an aircraft in flight, even more critical than the power plant in that if you can't move surfaces, if you expect and uh, feel like you are moving surfaces, but in fact they're not, because that movement is being absorbed by a bungee cord and not transferred to the surfaces, is a terrible condition, a terrible issue. Jan did uh, all of that work on the pilot flight controls, converting them back from uh, disabled controls, and did not document any of it in the logbook, therefore hiding uh, the nature of what was done, specifically from the, uh, from the owner and from other bodies. Um, the one point that he did do in the logbook was to sign the aircraft as safe, 
which clearly he either did not do an inspection, uh, but perhaps had no need to do an inspection of his own work. Uh, either way, um, the nature of the work done at the condition of the aircraft was called out as the direct cause of the crash. For the last two years, I've been subjected to scorn from Viking aircraft supporters. Uh, and I am hoping that this video closes down those uh, ridiculous um, comments. Uh, Jan has published material that pretty much calls me a liar in every single aspect of the flight and the cause of the crash. Uh, he calls out various uh, weather issues, various issues of my experience, etc. And many have assumed that he has been telling the truth for some reason. Independent reports have not been sufficient to close that down. Uh, people have commented that they've waited for the MTS report in order to, uh, to finalize their, uh, their own thinking. With this video, I am hoping that this issue is now closed and that uh, all of the materials that I have published uh, can clearly show that uh, everything that has been said by me since the first day is in fact true. I've included the contract with Viking so people can see that the work was in fact done by Viking. We've included uh, a lot of photographs to show the work that was done by Viking. Um, we have now connected that work that was done to the cause of the crash with three separate opinions, uh, including uh, the most valuable, perhaps, which is the, uh, the NTSB's final uh, report. Cause of the crash is now known, hopefully with 100% certainty, and uh, the commentary will end. And uh, we, as I've mentioned earlier, are now able to, uh, to move forwards with, uh, with prosecution as appropriate.